Three stops east, back at the new Canary Wharf station. With the platforms almost complete, workers are installing the ventilation system. The western elevation has three gaping holes, behind which three fans will sit. Bespoke stainless steel covers will hide this backroom machinery from view. The job of installing them falls to snappy dresser Neil Dutton. Yeah, um, I've got this bit of a thing about shirts. I get them custom made. What do I cook? And I say, uh, I've got a big neck and a little body. I'm probably the best dress construction guy on site. We have been employed to uh, clad the whole external section of this with a stainless steel surround to get to a finished product on the outside. Making it look sexy and pretty. <laughs> the station's ventilation system is critical to its operation. Crossrail is spending 26 million pounds on platform edge doors to separate passengers from trains and stop litter being sucked onto the tracks. But the doors cause a problem. A train rushing through a tunnel creates an almost perfect seal, forcing air in front of it. As trains pull into Canary Wharf station, pressure will build and needs releasing to avoid damaging the platform doors. So a network of ventilation shafts not only draws away brake heat, but also allows the air to escape. Three giant fans at each end of the platform will help pull the excess air out to surface level. This should relieve the pressure and protect the platforms as trains arrive. Neil's team must crane the vent covers down from the roof, then winch them up into position. Okay, and we're not going to leave any rough edges on this, are we? Well, I don't want any damage or any scratches to that thing. That's no, the only thing. No, they, they All right. a lot of money. I think each frame is probably, with the stainless steel, 75,000 a piece. So we've never done anything like this before. It's new to us. Gentlemen, this is a, a very important lift today. I don't care about time. I care about precision and safety. So let's just make sure we do this right. Before we do, I need signatures on the back of this, please. The crew must sign up to confirm they understand the lift plan. We've got anyone taller than you. It's nothing better than seeing you bent over. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. It's absolutely awesome. Guys, we need to get hold of those lines. Whoa, 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 whoa. There was a little tight spot there where it was at, but you saw that was the most concerning part. That's it. Whoa, 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 that's it. Let's pull his ass in over there. We are? We're good. That's we the easy good. part. That's the easy part, yeah. With the first covers down, they can hoist them into position. A winch, pulley, and crane hold the steel in place. We see them as six, six halves. They're, they're actually three units, but they're six halves. Uh, it, it does look quite spectacular. When you actually see them all completed, it's going to be quite iconic when people are actually watching. When people are actually walking by. Get down to that. <laughs> the gap to squeeze in the final vent cover is tight. So when that thing's in there, it's going to look bang on, you know? Disaster already. Milo never checked it, did you? The holes in the bottom and joke too small, didn't they? Ken, what's going on? I need a jack. You need a jack? Yeah. Why, it's, it's got to be lifted? The bolt holes for the last section don't line up. It's actually just, just out uh, of, of alignment. Every time you deal with steel or you're dealing with any sort of raw material, there's, there's movement. They need some muscle to force it into position. One, two, three. 
This is the first time it's happened on the job. It's not happened with any of the other ones. That's construction, it happens. The team tighten their nuts, securing the final vent cover into place. This is stainless steel in its absolute perfection. Absolutely awesome. And it's just got so sexy lines to it. I mean, every building's got to have the sexy lines, and those stainless steel definitely got some sexy lines. <laughs>